create mist day four day four day four day four and i switched my hat off that other one was getting warm this one will <laughs> this one will be warm too <laughs> we had a red and red and white day and i wore my little tie which i found at the dollar store and my hat and i was warm by afternoon anyways jingle 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 in today's video, we are going to do editable labels. How to create editable labels. We're going to use PowerPoint. I'll quickly show you even Google Slides if I remember. <laughs> and this is a huge selling feature to add to your products. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, my name is Lauren, and if you are new or returning, welcome here to Sell Primary. We talk about teacher side hustles, and right now, for Create Miss, we are doing things to help you with your Teachers Pay Teachers store products. And today it's about creating something editable. I don't know if you've already done that. If you have created something editable, let me know down below. I It took me a long time before I made something editable because I was just so sure I was going to mess it up. But it, it wasn't that bad. But I did double check it, triple checked it, quadruple checked it before I sent it. And people bought and I haven't heard any emails that it was messed up so that's good. Editable products are a huge feature to have in your products. Sometimes buyers feel a little bit trapped if they don't necessarily like your design or even the lettering of your um, the fonts that you use. I've, I've not purchased stuff because I don't like the fonts because when I work with primary students I want a primary font. I don't want handwriting. I, I have skipped products because of handwriting fonts. So if you are offering a editable label where they can put their own font, that's a good selling feature. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that. I like using Flat Pack by Bearwood Labs. I have videos at the end. There's a, going to be a Teachers Pay Teachers playlist. Check them out there. But Bearwood Labs is great. At their next Teachers Pay Teacher sale won't be until February, I think it is. So if you're not sure about uh, Flat Pack, put it on your wish list and buy it during the sale. But it is, it's been wonderful. It has saved so much time. Anyways, let me turn the camera around and we will, we'll make something editable. <laughs> For the sake of time, I'm just going to show you a product that has editable cards and how I made them. This one was one of my top selling products during the fall, August, September, October. I use these cards. I finally made my own version of them and the kids love them. And what I did was is I created a set that have an image and then I created a set that don't have an image and then I also created blank cards all in the same product. So let's go to PowerPoint. So here are the cards in PowerPoint and what I'm going to show you is how I made make this label. So let's open up a new PowerPoint. So I'm just going to quickly change the layout to eight and a half by 11. This is in centimeters, 19 by 25. And I'm going to start with a shape. And you may, may want to do a square rectangle, or you could do a, I like to do the rounded edges myself, but either one of those would work. Now what I'm going to do though, is I want to change the background to, instead of a color fill, to an actual image. So I'm going to double click on that so format picture shows up. And here where it says shape options, I'm going to go to the bucket and change fill to picture. <laughs> this is from a previous one. But what you do is you just insert and you just go to whatever image or background you want. If you don't like the solid, you could change it to a gradient or a different color, or you can do patterns. PowerPoint provides all sorts of different things that you could do. Okay, but this is the one that I wanted. I like to use a watercolor. And then I add another tick the same shape and put it inside and just fill it in white. Let me just straighten it up a little bit. Just get it centered. And now I'm going to fill. There we go. 
and there is my label. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to group this and this together. So I just click on one, hold it down, and I'm going to go up to Arrange and click Group. So now I have this image as a whole, and I can just right-click, copy, and now I've got a, a bunch of them. Now the last thing that I need to do in, in order to make sure that the image is secure is I'm going to go up to File and I'm going to export this as a JPEG just like I would if I was making boom cards. I want to just secure the image. So I just go to JPEG and save. And then, now that slide is in there. And let me just show you what it looks like. What I would do is I'll just do it on this blank one here. I'm going to go up to pictures and I got to find it. This is one I just recently did, but there is another. This is another one I have, but as you can see, it's all together. Okay. And then what I do is just add a cover, I add a credits page, and then the finished product looks like, so again, I can't touch them, but I can add a text box and just type in what I need to do. Okay, before I leave here, I was going to pop over to Google Slides and make another set there, but I'll be honest, I couldn't figure it out. I can make the shape, but I couldn't make the image background. So if you know of a way to do that, let me know down below in the comments because I, unless you, you can't do it in slides, you might be able to do it in doc, but again, wasn't sure how to do it. So I'm going to leave it for now. Yeah. Some people will create the product as a PowerPoint where nothing can be moved. So it makes it easy for our people to just, uh, add the text box. I add text box automatically as you saw. When I'm uploading the product I will have the I will actually create a zip folder and put the product as is in you know one file like will be one PDF and then the editable version will be a PowerPoint that and then I zip the folder to be able to upload it because you can't upload a, just a regular folder okay. If you want a video on that, uh, send me a message down below and I will do that for you. So, what is the next video? I can't even remember. I have no idea what the next video is. <laughs> so wherever you are in the world, I hope you and your family are staying safe, being healthy. If you are watching this around Christmas time, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Enjoy your break. Spend time with family or friends or if you're an introvert or just like to be by yourself, just enjoy the time. And we'll catch you in that video. That's a good Create Miss video. Or that playlist. Lots of good stuff there. Take care. Mm -hmm.